another video lecture. Today we will discuss about the analysis of three hinged arches. I hope all of you have watched the previous session related with the different types of three hinged arches. So in this video lecture we will discuss if some loads are acting over a parabolic arch, how to analyze it. So let us take the parabolic arch, capital A, capital C and capital B the three hinge hinge points. And if some loads is W1, W2 and W3, some point loads or some UDL or acting over this parabolic arch, then what are the reactions going to happen? So, already mentioned in the different types of 3 hinged arch, how many equilibrium equations are there? Four equilibrium equations in this case of 3 hinged arch. How it is obtained? If you are going to consider all the horizontal components, then there will be horizontal equation. Then vertical, it should be taken. Then moment about A or B, that should also be taken. Then this is the additional equation. Moment about this point C. So there will be four equations in the case of a three hinged arch. Then in the case if no horizontal loads are acting over the parabolic arch, this horizontal equilibrium equation can be avoided. So these are the three equilibrium equations only. If no horizontal load will be acting. Okay. So these are some of the equilibrium equation relationships. Then coming to the case, one of the important equations which is going to be applying different problems. So here let us take a point capital D over this arch. And here we can see that a normal thrust is acting at an angle theta which is the horizontal. Okay, these are some of the reactions if you take some point. So this capital N be the normal thrust and this capital Q be the radial shear occurring over this point. Then capital V be the vertical shear occurring over this particular point. So these are the different forces going to happen over a particular point. And we have to formulate what are the equations related with this N and Q. N means normal thrust, Q means radial shear. So let us consider. So here it is making an angle theta. So we can split this component as a h cos theta in this direction and h sin theta in this direction. Okay, h cos theta here and h sin theta. If you split this component, okay, then similarly we can split here also. This angle how going to happen? This theta how it becomes? This is going to be perpendicular here, if this line, this is a mathematical phenomena occurring here, if this is, this is going to be perpendicular to this V and this capital N is perpendicular to this Q, so the included angle is going to happen as theta. And here we know that this, if you split this component, V cos theta in this direction and V sin theta in this direction. So if you take the finally, if you take this, both this V sin theta and H cos theta in same direction, so we can write down as V sin theta plus H cos theta. And here you, if you notice that both the directions are opposite, so V cos theta minus H sin theta. So this is the important equation, that is capital N means normal stress and the capital Q means radial shear. So, if you want to analyze a problem related with three hinged arches, both these two equations are very important. So, with this, we will wind up today's session and we will see some problems in the next section. So, thank you all.